Barbara. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? I saw the bat signal. <laughs> Who ratted me out? Felicia and Tony and half the hospital. Mm. Oh, I heard from everybody except for you. And I'd have been here sooner, but it's hell hiking your way out of Yellowstone Park. So how was the vacation? Have you signed a confession? Not yet. Then don't. Go to trial and let Laura clear you. The last thing Laura needs is to have to deal with a couple of shark lawyers. Uh, one of those sharks will be Scott, who adores her, and the other one will be Alexis. I fired her. Why? I know what I'm doing, Barbara. Oh. Because Alexis believes that Laura is capable of taking the stand. Alexis believes that Laura can testify that Rick came at her and all you were trying to do was defend her. Look, you're going to have to help me play it my way or you can just hike back to Jellystone Park. Luke, there are techniques, there are meds that the doctors can use to help Laura remember. I don't want her to remember, Barbara. That's the whole point. Look, I know that you think you are trying to protect her, but you are not. Now think about your daughter. Your daughter needs you. She needs her mother. Her mother is unavailable. But she will be again. She'll be okay. She'll get better. She just needs to be handled right. And that means no pressure, no more pressure, none. Luke, why are you doing this? Don't do this. Don't do this to yourself. To Luke. The lucky don't. Barbara. I know that Cupcake has Leslie to take care of her. But I, I would feel so much better if I knew you'd be there, too. Lulu loves you. I know. But the truth is, I, I've taught her all my traditional skills. I mean, ice fishing. That's not going to get a girl very far in this world. It has to be this way. Will you take care of my little girl? Of course I will. You know I will. But let me call Dr. Weston, Thank okay? you so much. Yes. Thank you. That's, uh, that is such a load off my mind. Thank you so much. Hey, man. Thanks for coming, bro. Deja vu here all over again. All over again. I, I called the hospital and tried to get an update on Laura's condition. It's, you know, it, nothing's really changed. Oh. Uh, so, tell me you have a plan. What do you think? So it's gonna happen fast. I'm gonna have to leave in a hurry. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe as soon as tonight. Yeah. So, in the meantime, I'll, I'll get on. I'll start the net, finessing the details. Just give me a second. Here. Yeah. Problem? Nah. Anything else right now? No, I just. Uh... But, you know, I'm counting on you. Hey, I, I, whatever it is, man, I swear, I'll get it done. I know you will. Okay, I will. I'll be, I'll be talking to you. I'll look forward to hearing from you. All right, man. And you'll hear from me right. soon. Okay. Hi. Hey, Scott. Your confession. There's been a change in plan. All right, Spencer, you got everything you wanted. Lucky's got immunity for obstruction of justice, aiding and abetting, and considering what he did with Rick's body, you know. So there's no more sweetening of the pot here. You won't be assigned the confession. I get a last visit with my wife. That's not going to happen because, you know, the mention of your name and she just uh, goes off. I ain't signing anything until I see my wife. 
well, I'm not going to put any pressure on Lauren. If you stop thinking about yourself, you'd realize that that is not what we should do. It's pushing. How many back. decades have you fantasized about getting her back, Baldwin? You've won. You've won. I'm going to Sing Sing. <laughs> Just like you always wanted. You got her all to yourself. She doesn't even recognize me. And if you hadn't stuck your nose in this attic business, if you hadn't forced her to forget, none of this would have happened. Why didn't you take care of her? I am taking care of her now. Sign the confession and let her get some help. I ain't signing anything until I see my wife one last time. I never wanted to hurt you, ever. Sweetheart, it's us. You and me, nobody else matters, just us. I'm gonna get you out of here. I'm gonna get you past these walls, through all this fear. We'll leave these damn doctors in the dust. Just you and me, Luke and Laura. We are meant to be. We are? Yes. Yes. Remember, please, remember. No. Remember. No, no, I don't remember. No, I... I, I don't remember, and you can't make me. Oh, sweetheart. No, no, you go away. Go away. Go away. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Don't hurt her. Keep him out of here, Baldwin. What's the problem? Take it in. No, Get him no, out from here. Look at me. Listen, Why? Look, it's me. Oh, look at me. What do you want? What do you want? I want you to stay with me no. where I am. Who are you? I'm your life, Laura, and you're mine. No. 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 No, please. <gasps> I need you to be with me in this world, not wherever it is you're going. Please. Oh, I'm in so much trouble. I can get you out. But... How? I, I don't even know who you are. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. We've traveled the world together, and we're just getting started, baby. But but this place that you're going in your mind, I can't go there with you. you um, yeah, yeah, and once you're gone, I won't be able to find you. Please, please don't leave me behind, sweetheart. You're leaving me behind. Just take one little step toward me. Just, just, just back, and I can get you out. Just one step toward me, and then we'll jump in the pink Cadillac, and we'll go anywhere you want to go. We'll throw Lulu in the back seat, and we'll jump on the turnpike, and we'll go wherever it takes us. I don't know anybody named Lulu. But Lucky, you know Lucky. You know Lucky. We'll put Lucky in the car. It'll be like a big family trip. All of us. Uh, uh, I already have a family. Yes, you do. You do. With me. We have two children. Two beautiful children, and they need you. I want to take you back to them. No, you're a liar. Stop it. No, you're a liar. I don't lie to you. I've never lied to you. You own my heart. You own the, the, the piece of me that nobody knows. Please, just come with me. Don't leave me behind. Please, please, Laura. You'll be safe. You'll be safe. Get him out of there. 
Laura, everything's gonna be okay. Who's yelling? No, he doesn't matter. Just us. Just stay with me. Just us. You and me. We've lived on the run most of our lives. We do it better than anybody. We can do it. You'll be safe. Just take my hand. No. Laura, take it. Why is it happening? Move over the no. door. Take my no. hand. Take my no. hand, please. No. Hand. No, I hate you. I hate you. No. I hate you. No. I hate you. No. Get him away from me. No. Get him away no. from me. Get him away from me. No, no, please. She doesn't need that. No. No, don't let her see the syringe. No. Don't get Lexi, you get out of here. No. Don't. Don't. No. No, don't do it. Don't give me a shot. No. No. What did you give her? Something to calm her down. Spencer, she she doesn't know you anymore. She's gone back in time. I almost had her out of the attic. We could have made a clean getaway. Why didn't you let us go? Because she needs help and you out of the picture. And if you can't help her, what are you going to tell yourself then? Hey, Dad. How is she? It's, it's not good. So, is there anything they can do for her? Any kind of, kind of treatment? Nobody knows anything right now. Doc, can I go in and see her? First, we should discuss her condition and treatment options. I've arranged to have Laura transferred to a hospital in London. London? That's too far away. No, no, I'm not going to let you take her to London. I can find a hospital closer to her family, doctor. I know the place that I, they have been doing very innovative work. It would be best for Laura if she left tonight. Is my mom going to recover? She'll be in the finest facility in the world for her condition. Which means you got no idea. Well, I gotta say goodbye to my mom. This would be a good time. Okay. The further away Laurie is from Port Charles, the better, at least for now. She suffered a severe psychotic break. The pain of reality is unbearable for Laura. She needs to hide in her fantasy world for a while until she has time to heal, if possible. How much time do you think that's going to take? Well, the therapy could take years. And the chance of a full recovery is, um, is not good. I have to say goodbye to her. I don't recommend that. Why not? In my professional opinion, Laura would be much better off if she never sees you again. She had no idea who either one of us were. Well, maybe she will again sometime. What am I supposed to do, Dad? It's very simple, cowboy. You take care of Lulu. You make sure she doesn't worry too much. What am I supposed to say to her? Tell her her mother loves her. And that she wants to come home. <laughs> oh. Okay, boys. You both, you both have to be strong. Lulu needs her brothers. Both of them. Um, about that confession, Spencer. I'm saying goodbye to my wife. It's not gonna happen. I'm gonna stand on this side of the door and say goodbye to my wife. Otherwise, I'm going back to jail and I ain't signing nothing. And I'm gonna get my attorney to call a press conference and I'm gonna tell him everything that happened in that attic. Everything! What's it gonna be, Scott? Don't let him in the room.
Where's your blanket at, Miss Spencer? Let's go get that so you don't get cold. Spencer, I kept my end of the deal. You got to see Laura. So now it's your turn. Sign the confession. All right, fellas, I think that's gonna be... Hold it! Okay. There's not gonna be any question about who commits this crime. <laughs> 